My name is Benjamin Okezie Kahlo. I represent the good people of Ben, the federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I'm from Abia State. I rise to support that this bill be passed. But that will not go without my lending my voice to some of the issues arising from the document that we have gone through. First of all, I would like to commend the executive for this timely presentation of the budget estimates. Many wonder, why are we insisting on this January to December calendar? When budgets are presented on time, there is what it does to the economy. One, it raises the confidence of the private sector to understand the direction to go with their own policies, having known where the government is going. And any delay in budget presentation, plus or minus 100 days, depresses the economy by about 2.5% in every economy. So I really commend them. I also commend the, the House for working with them to achieve this. But we cannot discuss about 2020 without having a little appraiser of 2019. And the executive recorded certain things that demands commendation as well. One of which is the digitization of the tax collection, which made the collection of tax to be more transparent than before and corruption free. We really commend them for that. But suffice this to say that over the years, about 10 years now, the country, Nigeria, have not been able to meet her tax revenue target. It did not start from President Buhari's time. I mean, 10 years ago, from President Jonathan to now, it's been difficult to achieve our tax revenue target. And one wonders why. Why does this happen from time to time? And you know, the current budget is also proposing a particular tax revenue expectation, which is going to amount to more burden on the people, tax burden on the people. What does it do to a developing economy? What it does to a developing economy is that economic activities are reduced. And when economic activities are reduced, it leads to unemployment, it leads to poverty, it leads to a, a, a lesser home expenditure, which ultimately leads to less productivity. And when there is less productivity, it leads to less economic activity, which will lead to less uh, revenue from tax. So you see the circle, it goes round and round. And it is going to continue like this unless we have a paradigm shift from what it is now to what it ought to be. By looking at this tax regime that the government is bringing on board and seeing what we, are con we can do to be able to shift it a little bit. On the 2020 budget, I commend the government for setting up priority as, as, as well, especially as it consigns investment, investment in uh, critical infrastructure. One of their um, uh, priority also is human capital development, and more especially, incentive uh, um, advising private sector investment. These are priorities that have been set by government, which are wonderful and which are laudable. But my problem is the current business environment that we have. What we are doing at the moment, the current reform, is it going to allow this to take place?
all these priorities. It is high time Nigeria begin to copy from countries like Rwanda, who has you know, made effort to reform their business environment to the extent that productivity has been encouraged. Rwanda at the moment is the first country in Africa that has started the manufacturing of cell phones from start to finish. We can do it. And I commend the government in 2019 for supporting local industries like industry motors. I noticed that most of the military officers in the country that they did not go buying vehicles from overseas, they patronize industry motors. If we can patronize our own, if the business reform, if the business environment is reformed in a manner that our own will be patronized, I can assure you that more jobs will be created, there will be a shift from this over-dependence on oil to non-oil export. Let me also commend the government in 2019. I want to commend them in the 2020 budget for putting a, a, an estimate that shows that non-oil tax revenue will be at 1.81 trillion as against 2.64 trillion from oil revenue. Deep. Two minutes. I mean, I meant you had two minutes, not two minutes more. 30 seconds more. That we are shifting from oil dependence to non oil uh, dependence is, is something that we need to commend the government. But in doing that, we have to also ask ourselves when we meet our, our uh, committees, let's look at how are we strategically positioning ourselves to benefit from this new after bill, um, after a, a treaty that we just entered into. How are we going to benefit from it? What is in this budget that will allow Nigeria to benefit from this African Continental Free Trade Agreement? If we don't strategically position ourselves by looking at this budget properly, Nigeria will be...